Hey Internet, it's Colorful Arty, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64, praise be to God. And as you can see, I'm actually going to load the game this time the way it's supposed to, to see if this will solve the disappearing egg glitch. What's well, a weird thing about Project 64, you can only have one folder, and it takes up every single slot. But we're on second summer now, woo! Also, it's the fireworks festival today, so I don't really know what's going to be happening about that. Whoa, hey girls, what's up? Oh, this is the place, the color farm flower field. Oh, it's so beautiful. It smells so nice. Uh, hey teenage girls, what you doing on my farm? <laughs> I could get used to that. It's so hot every day. Please eat well so you don't become exhausted, Ellie. Thank you. The vegetable festival will be held on the ninth day of summer. Bring your best. Bring you best. I will bring me best. Now I'm in Ireland. I'll bring the best. I really want to visit Ireland someday. Okay, potatoes have grown and turnips have grown. Great. Well, this will be interesting. All right, gonna pick this grass, bring it back to give it to my dog as food, and I'm gonna spend the rest of the day on my farm tending to my animals and planting more grass. I love how fast the cows give large milk when you put them in the pasture. It's really nice. Alright, there's one cow up here that I never got around to getting because they're all merged together. Sorry, pink catman flowers. Yoo-hoo, brother! Uh, which one is this? Kent, what up? My grandpa asked me to bring you this. Oh, um, thanks! It's a watermelon. See ya! I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Alright, last flower. And I'm not really sure what to do tonight. Because it's the fireworks festival. I can't remember if your wife is just waiting for you in the house, waiting for you at the farm, or waiting for you at the festival. Alright, so she's in the kitchen. Now if I walk back out onto my farm, will she be here? She will! Tonight is the fireworks display, right? Shall we watch it together from the farm? Good idea. Good then. I'll get fiends ready. Cool, we don't get to see the potion shop dealer's nightmare face. <sighs> Still, uh, I'm freaked out about that. Wow, beautiful. I bought some sparklers. Let's light them. I hope we can do fireworks like this together every year. I don't know. Some some states aren't very cool about the whole fireworks thing for some reason. Today was a good day and I'm going to have a good sleep. I also have to be careful with typhoons because a typhoon could potentially blow down my greenhouse and that would be very bad. But I do want to experience a typhoon at least once summer. I went out of my way to avoid them last summer because I really, really didn't want to lose any valuable days, because year one days are much more valuable than year two days. <laughs> it's hot every day! It's hot for the animals, too, so take good care of them, Anne. I will, Anne. Never fear. I didn't water the blue mist seed yesterday! Arg! I knew there was something I forgot. Dog flipping gone it. Why are all my cows grouped together in one little area? Okay! Saving and quitting seems to fix the weird egg glitch. Thank goodness for that. Actually, I kind of like the egg glitch almost. <laughs> I liked my force powers. It made picking up the eggs much easier. Alright, so if you play the game for a very long time straight in a row without saving and quitting, the collision detection on the eggs gets really messed up. The more you know. Alright, I think I need to go out and give stuff away today. And, you know, buy a new blue mist seed. Stupid cows. Why are they all gathered in one corner? There's like four lumped all into one corner. You cannot live without eating, right? Birds, cows, fish, even plants must consume things to live. We should never forget that. It's true. Our clientele has increased since we gave the bakery more of a homey feel. 
Well, sure, that's what people like, right? Oh, thank you. Still want to befriend Jeff, because you, for one of the, the last girl scene, the Ellie Poppery scene, which I have never seen before, and I've seen no YouTube videos of, but I've heard it does exist, you need to get Jeff and Poppery's affection really high. That was a glitch. Ooh, thank you. That makes me happy. People far away can read letters. Oh, yeah, that's a sad one. <sighs> Gotta buy this again. <laughs> Oh-ho! Blue Seeds, plant behind the goddess fountain in the mountain. It actually is a tool, that's why I purposefully left a tool out of my inventory. Poppery's like, seriously? Again? Third time in a row? <laughs> Third time's the charm, Poppery. Harvest Sprite, here you go. Wow, thank you! You know the red sparkly thing that tastes sweet and sour? It increases your energy. We are happy today, too. Cool. I'll get them to notice my marbles eventually. Hey dude, have a walnut. Oh, thank you! I envy you, I want a wife too. Oh, I'm sorry dude. Why am I growing eggplants again? <laughs> as gifts? I could grow another plant as gifts. The only person who likes eggplant more than average is the midwife. Alright, it's gotten to the point where, because I can really only record an hour and a half increments because my headset starts to hurt after that moan. Like, I feel like I can't even get enough footage in one recording session to show for a half hour episode. So I'm almost wondering, like, if I should just prolong. Like, if I should just, instead of doing two videos a week, like, maybe one a week, and just compiling a ton of footage into one video. I feel like that almost might be better. It would take forever to edit. Actually, no, no, I really wouldn't. Because most of it I don't even talk during. I don't like summer. Oh. Don't you like marbles, though? Come on. Because at this point, my days are incredibly routine. It's literally the exact same thing every single day, more or less, so... I almost feel like I shouldn't show all this stuff. That or I need to just be super weird during the video. Ah, still not sure. Hello, Artie! You always look so healthy. Well, thanks, Poppery. That's one of the first nice things you've said to me in a while. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was giving that to Cliff, not you. We always have big arguments. <laughs> I also looked like they were totally smooching there. This? I had a fight with my wife last night, but we made up this morning. I want to be a bride when I grow up, or a princess, then I can wear a pretty dress. Well, bride is very possible. Princess, much less likely, but still possible. Marriage? Well, I guess I'd marry if I came to want something I'd have to be married to have, but now there's too many things that I couldn't do if I were married. I kind of feel that second part. If I was in a relationship, I couldn't do a lot of this stuff. Summer's a problem because cakes spoil easily. Do they? What can I say? Life itself hasn't changed much, but I feel something fresh, like a sunny spot in the spring. That was poetry. Oh, thank you. Now I just want to plant grass. Because it's great! And if Tony Tiger says it's great, then how could it not be? How is it that Tony Tiger got so popular? He's the mascot for a cereal. How is he this big of a, of a cultural icon? Have you ever thought about that? Because I know I thought about it. <laughs> Look at all those pink catnip flowers. And I've got nothing to use them on. Alright, I've got a grass equipped. Yeah, but it's so weird, because like Tony the Tiger, like... It's, it's, like, everybody in America knows Tony the Tiger, right, just about. And it's like... He's just the mascot for a cereal. How did he get this popular? But the kids love him. They love him to death. Oh, shoot. I've got a... <laughs> I don't have much time to take care of my cows and chickens. Oh, come on, Jack. You're just wasting time now. Oh, come on, Jack! My wife has gone to bed without me. I'm sure of it. Yeah. I love how my bird, the, the birds walk out of the way if you uh, move towards them, but if you're on your horse, they don't. They're like, we're not scared of no horse. 
Hip hoppery. My husband doesn't speak much. For a long time, I thought he was terrible. <laughs> wow. Snap poppery. It's cutting. Wow, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect so much from you. <laughs> Some days when I get, he's, I give him a really, really nice ear of corn, and he's like, wow, this is amazing. Thank you. Hey, where did Cliff go? Oh, Cliff is playing hooky from his home today, I guess. Skipping town, I guess? I don't know. Hey, midwife. Oh my, you've got it. Yes. I think May must... Maybe... Maybe she'll be in Moon Mountain, I guess. My dad used to say you can't be lively when you hungry. <laughs> can't be lively when you hungry. <laughs> that sounds like the next hit rap album. I'm glad I realized my feelings. I would have regretted giving her to someone else. Thank to, thank to you, Artie. Oh, thank to me. Thank to me, yes. Man, like every single piece of dialogue has a spelling error of some kind. <laughs> Oh, Mayor's wife is still not in church. <laughs> so how's married life? You know how it is, dude. Come on. Also, I love the self-playing organ minister. I feel like I'm pretty much best friends with the minister now, so I, should, I probably don't have to keep giving him gifts. So I really want to focus on boosting the mayor's affection a little bit more, the mayor's wife's affection. Uh, I should probably work on the midwife? Maybe the fisherman? Have to wait and see about that. Oh! Oh! I'm so tired. That w Moving that watering can that one last time really made me tired. Every cow gives large milk now. Amazing. Alright. So I think now I will get an ear of corn for Doug. I want to give him a few more gifts. I'll keep an eye out for the mayor's wife with the turnip. Um, I like giving potatoes to May and the mayor. And I'll give a tomato to Lilia. I think the pastor and I are tight now, so I don't really need to keep giving him gifts. Hi, Ellie. Move it, dude. My dad used to say you can't be lively when you're hungry, so when you're feeling blue, first of all, eat something. Oh. I'm gonna take this opportunity to show something. If you show Ellie a bug, I don't like that kind of joking. Yeah, she really does not like bugs. That was the wrong safe state. I'm sorry. I don't actually want to save that I lowered her affection with that, so... Hey, Harvest Bright. You still keep talking about that. Come on! Oh, there are three back here. Wow, it's a shiny one! Here you go! You can have it! Oh! They threw a little party for me. How sweet. Yeah, I gave them the marbles, and they gave me the last power nut. Yes! Oh, this is great. Oh, look. It's starting to grow. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, man, I didn't expect so much from you. Your cows are all amazing. You found your horse, and you're giving me free stuff. Honestly, I don't know why I keep giving Poppery flowers, to be perfectly honest. Because she's already at a pink heart, and she really can't go up much higher. Everybody's different. People have to talk to understand each other. We have to argue to solve problems at one at a time. I never thought of it that way. I'm just gonna say, I am not gonna meet the mayor's wife. It's okay, thanks. Surprise! It's been a season or two, but here you go. Thank you, you've made me happy. Be good to Karen. Makes me happy to see the house liven up. Aw, she's... yay, she's happier now. I took great care making this one. Oh, He still doesn't talk about actually being married to Karen. He's just like, I made this wine. I don't want people to drink it, but I also do want people to drink it. It's a problem. Now I'm gonna water my blue mist seed, because heaven knows I don't want it to die for a third time. <laughs> I can also pick up some grass for my dog, and... Oh, let's see. I also have decided I'm going to let my 
put my cows and sheep back into the barn from now on. Because it's wasting too much of my day to take care of them, and it's getting too frustrating. Plus, they're all giving large milk, so they all clearly must have very high affections for me. Oh, thank you! Alright, cows. It's time for Woody's Roundup. Woody's Roundup. Come on, it's time to play. There's Jesse the Yodeling Cowgirl. There's Bullseye, he's Woody's horse. He's a smart one. There's the old prospector. That's the man himself indeed. Alright, my sheep better not be lagging behind. The cows go marching on and on, hurrah, hurrah. The cows go marching one by one, my sheep fell behind. And again, I'm letting them all back in because the reason I had them out in the pasture is because I wanted to boost their affection rank until they all gave large milk. And they did so much more quickly than they would have when they were in the barn. Because they're all giving large milk, their affections are nearly maxed out. Which means not only am I making the highest amount of money possible, but now they're all going to be ready for the cow festival come fall. He's the rootness tootness cowboy in the wild, wild west. Woody's round This is usually the point where I stop playing the game, because I'm like, well, it's kind of boring now. But I'm committed, I'm going to the end. That's kind of why I did the Let's Play, because I'm like, I really, really... I started the Let's Play mainly because I'm like, I really, really, really feel like doing Harvest, like playing Harvest Moon 64 again. And if I don't Let's Play it, I will never Let's Play it, basically. And I also knew that if I let's played it, I would essentially guilt myself into being forced to complete it. Which I do want to do. So with the cows inside now, this should open up a lot of time for me to go fishing. Which is one thing I do definitely want to do more of. Because you need to s catch quite a few fish. Oh! And perfect timing! It was going to rain tomorrow anyways. <laughs> oh boy, my grass fields are complete! I have grass planted everywhere I wanted it to be planted. I should be better friends with the potion shop dealer. Dude, what's your name? First name is the, last name is potion shop dealer. Puppy, I want to take you around town. Hello, potion shop dealer. Um, sweet. He's, he's a puppy. Who doesn't love a cute puppy? Oh, how sweet! Aw, oh, see, Ellie likes puppies. Haha, <laughs> it's charming, isn't it? Oh, so sweet! Yeah, everybody loves puppies. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, it is. By the way, here's some flowers. Thank you very much, is it really okay? Hey, little puppy, you're going to church. Ooh, cute! Jiro's brother was given to some friend of Grandpa's. Jiro likes puddles, so he always gets muddy real fast. Aww. How cute! Yeah, everybody loves puppies! <laughs> Thank you, I like you a lot. <laughs> I mean, I brought a puppy to class, so, like, there's no hope of these kids learning anything else for the rest of the day. No hope at all. <laughs> Come on, Jiro. We still got watch of other people to visit. We're going to the vineyard. Oh, you surprised me. I surprise easily. Is that so? Oh, that's going to be trouble. No! It's a puppy! Okay, and he immediately starts peeing on the ground. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Artie. Our vineyard has grown, hasn't it? Nope, you are not peeing on the floor. That is completely unacceptable. Ah, so cute! Yeah! Ooh, Jiro. He's irresistible. That was bad. I, <laughs> I should have known that was bad just going in. Jiro, look, it's a rabbit. Look at this. Cute. Looks smart, too. 
Oh, you're a feisty one. Is he talking to me or the dog? Oh, you're a feisty one. Are you guys the same person? I don't need it. I wasn't giving it to you. I was showing you it. Appreciate the food you get from the mountains. Never just throw away what you've picked. Oh, I've done that before. Many times. I wonder if the harvest sprites are like a puppy. Here. Oh no, we're going to get eaten. Oh no. <laughs> it's just a little one. Although it's about the same size as the harvest sprites. Puppy! I had to do something weird for the end of the video. And he's just so cute. What up? Honey, are you going to go up to the mountain for the bamboo float? Oh, is that tonight? Sure. I forgot about this event. Here's your bamboo boat. Write your wish. Animals, family, or a weather. Not wishing for weather? I will wish for family. I think that boosts my child's affection before it's even here. They say your wish will come true if it floats without sinking. My wish is... Well, most of mine have already come true. Oh, That's so adorable! That's going to be the best way to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope to see you for more Harvest Moon shenanigans next time. Have a great day, and God bless!